What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you an awesome product from GLINet. This is brand new. This is Velika, the GLB2200. And if you look in my bag at any given time, I have GLINet's travel router with me because it's one of the best travel routers on the market. You get VPN support, WireGuard, OpenVPN, and it's just, it's just an overall great product. Well, now you can bring all that goodness into the home thanks to having this tri-band mesh system. WireGuard is supported, OpenVPN is supported, and it'll block all of those pesky ads thanks to having AdGuard home as well. This is the best Wi-Fi mesh network right now because you do get that VPN integration. Being able to protect every single device on your network under your VPN umbrella is something that I've actually wanted for a very long time and it's just an overall great product. But let's go ahead and check it out together and tell you more about it. Upon opening the box, it says, hello, glad to meet you, enjoy your unboxing. I think that's kind of friendly. I think that's kind of fun. Well, let's see what we get inside of the box here. Here's your little power adapter powered with USB-C. I'm definitely liking where this is going already. And there's your little adapter for the US. They give you a flat ethernet cable. And this is the Velika system. And this just looks super, super awesome. Just take a look at this. I'll come back to this in just a little bit. Here's your get started guide and your support. And that's basically it. This is GLINet's first Wi-Fi mesh system. And I like, I like the styling of this device. It looks very modern, very sleek, very clean indeed. These nice little design lines make it look like an interesting product, 100% for sure. It's a tri-band system. Once again, it's going to block ads network-wide. It's going to give you that VPN umbrella protection around your entire home, and that's something super important. You want to make sure that your data remains your data. You want to make sure that when you're online, that remains your business and no one else's business. And GLINet is perfect for that. I've used a bunch of their routers in the past and I'm definitely very, very impressed with them. The AdGuard Home is a nice application and their setup is always super simple. And just for size reference, you can see it's pretty small, so the footprint is not huge at all. Now on the front, we have two lights, one for your internet connection status, one for your power. But on the back of Velika here, we have two Ethernet ports, so we have one for the WAN and one for the LAN. Here's your USB-C power. Here's your little sync button right on the bottom there. And one of these routers will cover about 2,000 square foot. Adding a second one is going to cover 4,000. Adding a third, 6,000, etc., etc. But I like the design. I like where they're going with this. And again, it works with WireGuard, so you're going to get a max speed of 192 megabits down. If you use OpenVPN, you're only going to get about 30. So I really recommend WireGuard. And if you don't yet have a great VPN service that will allow you to use a WireGuard protocol, TorGuard is the way to go. Use my code JabberTech. You'll save 50% off for life. So I like TorGuard. Check out my link down below. But let's go ahead and plug it in. I'm going to download the app. I'm going to set it up together. We're going to do some speed tests, some, some coverage tests and whatnot. Let's check out Velika together. Once you download the GLINet application, it's super simple to get started. You can sign up for their cloud service, which I suggest you guys do. It's just a nice overall service. But select Use Without a Cloud. Then you'll want to connect on your Velika icon right over there. And then once you have it all connected, it'll give you give you kind of a setup guide. You always want to turn off your modem first before connecting a new router. So let's just go ahead, enable access, and it's going to find your Velika system very, very quickly. Once you click on continue, you need to set up your admin account. So let's just go ahead and set up an admin account right now. I'm going to call that Jabber. And then I'm going to set my password as 123456. Click on submit and then because this is a Wi-Fi mesh system, you're going to want to give the initial, your initial main router a location. So let's just, let's just for fun call this wardrobe continue. And now you can customize your Wi-Fi settings. If you did not log into the cloud earlier, it's going to ask you if you want to. And I suggest that you guys do because you can use a web browser to go in and check on, check on things like the status of your network. So that's something that I usually always do. This is their application, and again, I like their app. I think they designed a very nice application. So if we go through some of the settings here, you'll see right in the middle is your VPN shield of protection, which happens to be disabled now, but I'm going to show you how to set that up in just a second. Clicking on your Wi-Fi, if you have one Velika system, you can change things like your 2.4, your 5 GHz, and your guest Wi-Fi network names. Going back, you'll see if there's any updates. So is there an update available? There probably is an update, so I'll do that a bit later, but that's what I like about GLINet products. They always do they always do push out some updates. Now let's go back to the VPN goodness because again, you're buying Velika for the whole house protection. You're buying Velika to be able to protect your entire network with your VPN service. So once again, let's click on VPN client. Now, I don't recommend OpenVPN. Again, the speeds are only 30 megabits a second, but I guess if your network isn't any faster than 30, you could use OpenVPN. 
I choose WireGuard because the max speeds you're gonna get is 190 megabits down. And just take a look at how simple this is. You have some popular services that provide WireGuard service right on the bottom here. So again, I'm just gonna choose TorGuard. So you can change the location very, very quickly and put in your account information. If your service is not listed there and you have a manual setup, you can go ahead and just enter in, enter in your configuration files manually. So again, I think you get a lot of ways that you can connect to your VPN service. When you go back to your home screen of the app, just click on that VPN shield of protection and your entire network is now protected. That's why you're buying Velika. This is the main reason why you want to purchase one of GLINet's products. You want to get around geo restrictions. You want to get around ISP throttling. I just like protecting my data. And with GLINet products, I always know that my data is protected. Clicking on network, you'll be able to see things like your WAN address. You'll be able to see things like your, your LAN address as well. You'll be able to see how many clients you have connected. You'll see the MAC address as well. If you choose to enable real-time stats, you'll be able to see your upload and download for each specific device. So again, I think that's something pretty cool. You'll be able to set a quality of service as well if you want to limit a specific device and not really allow it to have full unmetered connection to the internet, you can go ahead and do so. And then going into the systems tab, you'll be able to see the amount of memory you're using and what kind of load you're putting on Velika. You can also change your LAN IP. If you want to turn off the lights, you can go ahead and turn off the lights. Now what I particularly like as well is the ability to clone a specific MAC address. If you're using Velika to say connect to, maybe you're connecting to your school network or something like that where you have to provide them with a MAC address in order to connect to the internet, you can provide say your cell phone MAC to that company and then just copy that MAC address into Velika and then you'll be able to connect to that free Wi-Fi using Velika and then kind of broadcasting it in your home. Now that's something that a lot of people have asked me about. So it is possible thanks to being able to clone that MAC address. Now in terms of your DNS server, this is where you get a lot of options as well. So you can, you can go ahead and change it and there is DLNS over TLS as well. You can have a specific DNS server if you want to. You can also put in your own manual settings. Again, there's a lot of features in here. One of the features that I like is override DNS for all. So that just means that any device connected is going to use your DNS settings. For example, Chromecast isn't going to use Google by default. Chromecast is going to use whatever DNS you have set. So I think that's a great advanced feature as well. Now that's basically it with the app. Again, you're all set up, you're all done, but if you want more advanced features, you do have to log into the web. If you're looking at a mesh system, you already know you probably need more than one router to get full coverage in your entire house. So that's where Velika also shines. It's super easy to connect a node. I'm gonna show you how to connect a node right now. All you have to do within the app is click on the add extra node and that's basically it guys. Again, super, super simple is the name of the game. So no matter what your skill level is, you're going to be able to set up Velika in just about, just about five minutes. That's an almost guarantee. And that's really it. It does all the work for you. Just select a location, click on confirm and you'll be able to see that you have two nodes connected. Now, one, one little note about this, and if GLINet, if you're listening, I really would like to see signal strength between the main router and the nodes, just so I know if I need to place it in a little bit of a better area to get a better signal, to get a better connection, because of right now, there's really no way to tell the signal strength to let you know that maybe you wanna move it a little bit closer, or maybe you're in a dead zone that you wanna move it just out a little bit. Now, speaking of signal strength, I'm getting super, super awesome signal strength with both of these devices. With one device, I was able to cover an entire floor. That's about a thousand square foot. And I was able to go down a level as well and still get connection. Of course, with two nodes, I got full connection everywhere and the speeds have been super, super awesome as well. So I have no problems with speeds and no problems with range. I think this is an excellent, excellent device. Again, you're covering your entire network with that VPN shield of protection and you're blocking all of those pesky ads. Thanks to having AdGuard Home built into the Velika router. So I think the setup process is awesome. I like the design. Everything about Velika is a great introduction to the home network. Let's just go to the web interface. I'm gonna show you how to enable AdGuard Home and just go over some of the more advanced features. But if you don't wanna go into that web interface, you're all set, you're all done. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. But let's head to those advanced features and I'm gonna show you a little bit more about what you can do with Velika. Now to get to your settings, it's 192.168.8.1. And I just wanted to mention a quick fact about Velika. If you're happy with your current router solution, but you still want to get that whole home VPN protection, and you also want to get that AdGuard home for blocking all those internet ads, you can use Velika as a repeater, as an extender. So that's also an option for you. 
Just scan for the Wi-Fi network that you want to repeat, enter in the credentials, and you're all set as well. So you have multiple uses that you can use Velika for, not just for your incredible tri-band mesh Wi-Fi system, but you can also use it as a repeater. Now just taking a look at the home screen here, you'll get to see information about what's going on with your network. You can see all of your clients. You can also, again, see all of the transmitting data, whether that's upload or download. Set that quality of service. You'll be able to see every single device that's connected to your home network. Clicking on the mesh network, you'll be able to see which device is connected to either the node or your main router. And you'll see if it's on the five gigahertz 2.4 or if it's connected via a cable. So again, you get a lot of information about your main network and also your guest Wi-Fi as well. In the upgrade tab, this is where you might want to just go in and enable auto upgrade. This way you never have to worry about checking for an update and pressing that update button. Click on automatic update and it's going to do everything for you. There is advanced features in terms of port forwards. You can open up ports. You can also set a DMZ host as well. So if you need that for maybe your IP cameras or your Plex server, you can go in and set port forwards. Now under the VPN tab again, this is where you see information about your open VPN client or server as well as your WireGuard information. In terms of setting up your own server, you are only able to use one or the other. So if you have a client running, you cannot have a server running at the same time and vice versa. The internet kill switch is awesome because it'll just disable all internet traffic routing through your VPN if it happens to go down. Again, you don't want to get those copyright letters, so that's a great option to have. VPN policies as well. You can set which device can use your VPN and which device will go through your ISP directly either by MAC address or by IP address as well. Again, it's very configurable, and that's what I like about Velika. That's what I like about GLINet products. Now, here's your Tor tab. If you guys want to use Tor, you can go ahead and enable Tor, and you have all the different exit node countries as well, so you can choose whichever country you want to connect to. Again, just giving you a little bit more in terms of, I'm going to call it encryption, so Tor definitely is available. Under applications, you do have some plugins, so you can enable, you can disable, you can do all that good stuff if you want. I personally haven't really gotten into plugins because the number one plugin that I like is AdGuard Home. Setting up AdGuard Home is really simple, guys. Just go in and play around with the settings. The main setting you want to go to is your, is your DNS block list, and you can choose from some of the predefined lists already included with AdGuard Home, or you can enter in your own URL if you want to do so. Again, just play around with it. You might have to whitelist some sites if, if they're getting blocked by mistake, but AdGuard Home is the best plugin. AdGuard Home is super, super awesome. Trust me, when you start surfing the web without ads, it's going to be faster and a much more pleasurable experience. Now, basically, that's all the settings that you're going to want to change. You, you can go in and change your LAN IP address or your guest IP address if you want to do so as well. Other than that, guys, everything can be done on the app. Everything is super, super simple. Now, as we end out the video, I just want to show you some speed tests. Now, I do have a lot of devices connected to Velika. And I've seen no slowdowns, no bottlenecks, nothing like that at all. So GLINet developed a very, very nice, very capable router. So I'm definitely happy to tell you guys that with 30 plus devices connected, my speeds have been super awesome. I do pay for 500 down and 20 up. That's what I should be getting. And if you just connect that LAN cable, running a speed test, you see I get very, very close to that 500. And 20 up is not an issue. I really wish ISPs would give you a little bit faster upload, but that's a topic for another day. In terms of your VPN connection, again, that's why you're buying Velika. With WireGuard, the maximum download is 190 megabits down, but a lot goes into that. And the highest that I've seen is 150 megabits down. But once again, I do have 30 plus devices connected to the internet. So there are a lot of devices connected. Most of the times though, especially on that second node, being a level down, I sort for anywhere from 100 to 120. And I think that's something really good. If I just had one router connected, even my router before Velika, I would not see those speeds at all because it is a little bit far. And here in New York City, there's a lot of interference. There's probably about 50 Wi-Fi networks around me at any given time. So I am happy to say that Velico was able to push through all that nonsense, push through all that noise, and still give me a very respectable 100 to 120 megabits down all over my apartment, even on that second level when I went to test it out. So I've been happy with speed, I've been happy with range, and I'm definitely happy with Velika, and I think you guys will be too. But if you have any questions about it, definitely let me know down in the comments below. This is an awesome product. This is a product that I've been waiting for. Let me know what you guys think once again, and I'll catch you guys in another video.